Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. The kids are here, the sun is shining, so it's a really great day here at Northville Elementary. I wanted to share with you um, some thinking that I've been doing as we start actually already planning and looking forward to next year and what that might look like here at school. And I feel really great overall about our school year this year. We had some ups and downs, some in and outs, but I think we are all relieved to have that behind us and to know that we can do it together. Looking forward, um, we do want all of the, our students here and all of our children in person and the data has shown us that, especially at the elementary school, how important it is to have the students here in person because they need those foundational skills so that they can read and do their math and, and learn those science uh, skills as well. In terms of lesson planning for next year, we still have to think about students that may be affected by the pandemic in terms of quarantine or classes or grade levels going remote for a while. So it's really important as we're thinking about this and reflecting on our own teaching, when we are lesson planning, think of how it would look remotely first and then work backwards. And that will save you in the long run a lot of time and energy if for some reason abruptly your class or a student needs to go out. I know many of you are doing that right now, but it's important to remember that we need to continue to do this and take what we have learned from the pandemic and those tools and di digital skills that we have learned and the students have learned and to um, not say everything needs to be technology based, but what can we do and how can we use those tools to better the learning in our classroom? or improve the learning in our classroom. So if you plan remotely and then tweak it for in-person, that will give you a, a stronger foundation to work from. For example, say you were introducing the skill of author's purpose in your classroom. Perhaps you might embed a video of what author's purpose is and then provide a digital and a paper copy of a short passage that you might have the students read and um, little notes on the side that give them ideas of where they want to find information on where the author is giving you information to develop author's purpose. So little things like that that can be scanned in or used digitally as well as in person will help you. I hope um, you have a great day and I look forward to our next video. Thank you.